The outbreak of coronavirus has turned the whole world upside down. The outbreak prompted the president to make a pronouncement that there should be a nationwide lockdown in response to the outbreak. The lockdown did not leave out the colleges. It disrupted the programs in terms of teaching and learning. As a result, the principals of Tibet colleges decided to come up with ways and means of supporting the students who are at home. The first broadcast of the lessons happened on the 15th of April 2020. I therefore want to request all the students, all the lecturers, to commit themselves to watching these programs because these programs are meant for them. After each and every broadcasting, the lessons are sent to the website of DHET. They are also accessible on the website of the colleges. You don't need data to access that. I therefore want to lastly urge you, our students, our lecturers, to ensure that these programs are making an impact on these students to prepare them for the examination. There is no more time left in the year 2020. Stay home, stay safe. Hello students, my name is Bella Mangwale. I'm here to present New Venture Creation Level 4. I'm from Rustenburg Campus, Obit College. Uh, today's topic uh, is option available for funding uh, SMME. I hope you've got pen and papers. There's going to be some activities that you are going to do uh, during the lesson presentation. I'll give you three minutes for each question and we'll proceed to the next topic. Um, according to our syllabus, New Venture Creation Level 4, we establish and run a business. So you cannot establish and run a business without funding. Today's topic is how to obtain funding. Um, so there are certain requirements that we need to, to follow when we do funding uh, for establishment of the business. You need to plan your business. We've got pre-operational plan. Uh, those operational plans, the first thing that you need to do, you need to uh, analyze the business need analysis. Where is the business going to be? Uh, like in the market segmentation, survey, and the risk involved in that type of business. Uh, the type of business, is it going to be a service or is it going to be a product? You are going to choose whether you are running a, a service. Service is like petrol station, um, where you render a service, it's where you use uh, things like, um, for instance, I can say service station, um, trend, uh, places like fitting of tires and so forth. And then products, if you sell product, what kind of a product are you going to sell? The type of, that is the type of business. Is it going to be a service or a product? The pre-operational and startup costs. You cannot run any business without funds. You cannot run a business with a small amount of money because there are securities, there are uh, amount of cash flow that you need to, to use in the type of business that you are going to, to to, to run. Um, the other thing is registration of the business. You need to register with CIPC, and again, you need to get tax clearance 
by obtaining tax certificate at SARS. Uh, the other important document for you to run your business is to design a business plan and a business profile, if I can say. Right, the main topic today, as I said, we are going to learn how to obtain funding as you cannot run the business without funds. What are the requirements to get funding? Company registration certificate. You need to have a certificate uh, because big banks, uh, financial institution cannot uh, borrow somebody or give somebody or risk their finances with a person who didn't register the company. Then you need to get tax clearance, a SAR certificate and business plan. That is the very important document uh, whereby you approach the banks or any institution that is going to help you with, the, uh, with that funding. Now we've got a business profile. A business profile is also very important whereby you'll be showing them the kind of product or service that you are rendering. It, it differs a little bit with business plan. This is having some pictures where it shows and tells us and we see the kind of service or products that you are, you are offering in your business. Right, business plan, we'll talk about it later. I will show you how to write a business plan in order for me to prepare you uh, to approach the funding institution available in our country. All right, um, I hope most of you, you want to be your own bosses. You don't want to work for somebody. You want to start a business as young and emerging entrepreneurs. Uh, you need to be uh, energetic, uh, be focused, and do whatever it takes for you to be somewhere, to be, to, not to, to wait for a paycheck or salary. Um, during our um, process, uh, I want you, during learning delivery, I want you to answer some questions. For me, what are the pre-operating plans? I just need two of them. Think about it uh, while I'm going on with my lesson and the type of business ownership that you intend to open as you need to be your own boss. And then the third question, I want the advantages of being a sole trader. Remember the types of business uh, ownership. It's a um, partnership, sole trader, private companies, you name them. Now, I just want you to do the advantages for me of sole trader. I just need only two. All right. Um, I hope all of you uh, will be able to, to answer all of the questions um, that I've asked. Uh, remember, I've said the pre-operation plans, it's neat, anali uh, neat analysis of the business market seg segmentation, survey and risk, the type of business and the product, pre-operation, or any other relevant answer that you know you can still give it to me as pre-operating plans in, in these questions, All right? Uh, we are going to, to, to answer for you. I know you've got pen and papers there. Uh, let me see if my answers are the same as yours. Mine, the first thing, for pre-operating plans, I will think of the location. The first one, the location of the business. Why the location of the business? You cannot uh, sell something in the wrong place because the business is not going to 
to run well, you need to make sure that that product or service you are rendering is needed in that particular area. So that is very important for you to analyze and make a research, ask the people uh, through the questionnaires and flyers, what business do you need? Uh, they will tell you then, out of that marketing survey, then you will be able to know that in that particular area, they need supermarket, they need uh, bushery, they need bakery, and so forth. You cannot just go there and open a business and nobody is in need of the product or that kind of service that you want. So it's very important for you uh, to analyze the need and make sure that the lifestyle of those people that they are, are there, it will suit the type of business that you, you are operating there. Right. The other one is that business, um, operating business, is it a service or a product? That is from question one. What are the pre-operating plans? Then is that a, a service or a product? Is it a car garage or petrol station, if I may say? Or is it a restaurant uh, and so forth? All right, number two, the type of business ownership. We've got different types of business ownership, as I've mentioned earlier. We've got a sole trader, partnership, and so forth. So any relevant answer uh, that you are giving as long as uh, types of business uh, uh, the, uh, companies that you to need to do. Right, um, number three, the advantages of sole trader. Decision making doesn't need anyone as you are the sole ownership of the company. You don't need to consult anyone. Decision making is from you yourself and it's final. No interference about the running of the company needs a second opinion because you are trading as a sole trader. Right, and the other thing, uh, remember there are some disadvantages of sole trader. Uh, all the debts, every problem is on your head. It, it's on you. You need to solve every problem of that type of business. Right. The advantage of this business, all the profit is yours. But the disadvantage is you are liable for the debts of that company. You will be running it alone. Nobody will be able to help you with the decision making. We are going to learn the various funding packages. Uh, how to obtain money to run that business to be sustainable. Um, the most important thing, there has to be funds for your uh, business. There has to be security for the unforeseen circumstances. Remember, you have to pay the workers. Remember, you have to pay the rent. Remember, you have to, there are certain errands that you have to run in the company. Uh, like cell phone, electricity, water, and so forth. So you need enough funds to run that particular business for that business to be sustainable and be able to, to pay the workers. You have to get the profit every month for you to be able to keep the company up and running. Uh, so there are funds available. The first thing that you can get is your own, your own funding, meaning from your pocket or your own savings. You have saved enough, you can fund your own business, right?
from also from family and friends they can also assist you but uh, we've got uh, again private equity we've got private equity and uh, we've got other uh, funding direct that you are having here uh, the mayor banks banks can also assist you we've got uh, absa we've got net bank we've got standard bank we've got fnb each and every uh, all this in banking institution they've got their own uh, funding packages for small medium enterprises that as long as you qualify you've made your pre-operational plans you've got proper business plan you've got all the requirements that is needed they will be able to assist you with your funding package any amount of money that you need you'll get from this bank as long as you qualify there are requirements uh, the other important requirements that you need to, to have is the business plan. Business plan is one of the vital tools that you need to have. Business plan. This is a document. It's a living document constantly uh, referred to you have to monitor it it has to be updated it has to be reviewed time and again because without it you cannot run the business you'll never be able to see your mistake it's a monitoring tool for your business it should be include the uh, employees it should be realistic and achievable try to keep it simple as possible include objectives market uh, and the product and the service and um, prices uh, cash flow uh, equipment and personal and marketing strategy right uh, before we can continue i just want us to go back to the questions uh, regarding the funding packages we've got questions how much can you borrow for your business how much can you borrow how much can you pay back that is the second one what day of the month must be paid mention two major banks that you can borrow money uh, obtain your funding right we've got some answers for you i hope you are still writing but let me continue the first one how much can you borrow from for your business any amount depending on the size of your business business differ from person to person and you cannot say you borrow fifty thousand, knowing that it's not going to be enough for your company so it's important that you have to know the type of your business the size of your business is the one that is going to determine the amount of money you want to borrow from the major banks right how much can you pay back uh, any relevant answer depending how much you can afford you will negotiate with those people that have borrowed you money and uh, the next one what does the what day of the month must be paid normally we pay it back month end or any day depending on the agreement that we have signed on the document right um 
mentioned two major banks where you can obtain funding. That is APSA, FNB, Standard Bank, Net Bank, and we are having also the uh, government sectors that can also help you with funding like uh, CEDA, um, Kula, you name them. Right, they are assisting small, medium enterprises. Uh, as I've said earlier, you cannot get funding without a proper business plan. Right, here is the, here is the business plan elements. It has to be a proper and successful business plan and it has to be accurate. Otherwise, you won't get that money because uh, your business plan is not standardized. Right, um, we've got number one, we've got business background, the vision, the goals. Two, we've got marketing plan. Three, we've got business operation. Then we've got human resource, uh, money management, the financial feasibility study, and the appendix. Right, then we've got cover sheet, here is the cover sheet that you are talking about, the table of content, and we've got the executive summary. And most importantly, you need to make your SWOT analysis. Most of the people don't make SWOT analysis in their business plan. And what is SWOT analysis? It's a tool to measure your strengths, your weaknesses, and also uh, opportunities and threats. And SWOT analysis, it's an assessment tool for your own business. It's a real important tool for you to know that your business, is it growing or going down? Is it going to be sustainable until uh, five years? Right. Um, we've got a format that is being done, that is the in inside the business, that is the strength, and then we've got the weaknesses. The strength is your ability as an entrepreneur. How are you able to, to run the business? Are you having those potential, that energy, that mission, that vision for the running of that company? Now, you, what's your weak point? The other thing, the weaknesses, what is your, work on your weaknesses. If you see that you've got this weak point, work on it. Then we've got an uh, external environment, the outside business, that is the opportunity. Opportunity, where can you extend your business? Where can you open that business? What is your threat? Most of the threat is your competitors, people who are running the same type of business as yours. How can you overcome them? How can you win the, the market? That is all for today and next time we'll be doing a business profile. Business profile differs from business plan. Uh, it's two major tools that you need to have, uh, very important documents that you need to have when you run your business. And I hope you heard what I've been saying and I expect you, whenever you get a question, like from funding on your exam, you'll be able to answer it. Uh, for exam tips, when you get a case study where somebody is having a problem of running a business, uh, then they will ask you a question, how can you help that person? Refer to your own business. Help as if it's your own business. And answer, remember in our subject, any relevant answer is correct as long as you support your statement. I hope you heard what I've said and all the best in your exams. My name is Ndom Binjangase. I'm the principal of Umkungundlo Votivet College in KwaZulu Natal, Peter Marisbeck. The coronavirus epidemic and the lockdown that comes with it 
has actually put the institutions of learning under unprecedented amounts of pressure. The fact that our students cannot physically go to class to attend lessons means that as management of these institutions, we have to put systems in place to make sure that our young people do not lose their academic year. But on the other hand, whilst we do that, we need to make sure that they do not lose their lives in the process. I therefore wish to encourage our students in TVET colleges in particular to take advantage of the lessons that are offered on television. Some of these lessons are offered on YouTube, but you can also find these lessons when you go into the website of the Department of Higher Education and Training. The lessons that are offered on the website of the Department of Higher Education and Training are offered for free. And the manner in which our lecturers responded to the call of supporting our students is highly commendable. As we are going to return from the lockdown, we are going to pull all stops to make sure that the academic program and the academic year is not lost. Save the academic year, save lives.